It's kit release day, again. It feels like these videos just keep coming because the kits just keep coming, but we actually have two new kits that came out today. Last week they announced the Moonlight Chic kit, which is like a Parisian inspired fashion kit, and then they also announced the Little Campers kit, which I am very excited about, and it's supposed to be like a kids sort of items pack. It looks like it's gonna have outdoor furniture for like movie nights and s'mores roasting and stuff like that. In my mind and in my dreams, it's like a happy medium between a gameplay kit and a build kit because there's not actually new games gameplay items, but I feel like these things are going to very positively impact my gameplay, so I'm very excited. I really hope to not be let down. I guess we'll see. As of recording this, they haven't actually given me my codes yet. Usually I get codes for the packs, but the kits are different. I don't get early access, so it takes a second to get the code, and I don't have it yet, so I'm just gonna buy them so we can test them out. Oh, wait a minute. I get to buy these and use my own creator code on them? Okay, so if you didn't know, EA is doing like a really limited test of creator codes. A lot of game companies have this, where when you buy a game or like a Fortnite night scan or whatever, you could put in a creator code and then it gives a portion of that purchase to the creator. It's not like a discount code for you, it's more of like a way to support the creator. And EA is doing like a super limited test. Like I said, it's like 10 creators, just the Sims, and for like a month, there's about two weeks left. So if you want to buy these kits today or like any pack or the Sims 4 base game or whatever, if you press this enter promo code button and then you enter Lil Simsy and you apply the code, it says it used creator code Lil Simsy and then I will get 5% of this purchase. I know it seems kind of weird because it's not a discount code for you and it's like for me. But keep in mind, a lot of games have this, and again, it's just supposed to be a way to support creators. And also, it's a really limited test, and it ends kind of soon. I'm plugging it kind of hard right now because I'm really hoping that it works out, because obviously only 10 people have it for like this month, but I'm hoping that if it goes well, they'll add this in to like everybody eventually, because that would be great for like all Sims creators to have this. I think it's a great idea, it's easy, and I won't lie, I just had a lot of fun using my own code just now. But anyway, if you go to buy any Sims pack for the next like two weeks, I think it ends on June 16th, you can use that creator code Lil Simsy. Those installed really fast. Okay, I think I'm gonna test out the Moonlight Chic kit first because I'm less excited about it. And then we'll do the camper kit because that one's more fun. It says modern Parisian style. Pair shorts with sneakers for casual fun or dress up your look with some silk or sparkles. The youthful fashion of today draws inspiration from classic styles to build something new and trendy. It also says timeless romance. A slinky dress, flowing shirts, and smart jackets are staples that are always in style. Help your sim find that romantic spark with fashions built to last, even if the romance doesn't. Oh, and the little campers kit. Okay, I'm sorry. This one we're saving. We get through the cast and then we can see the campers. You know what? I want to test out the kit on the new goth family, actually. I haven't had a chance to make a video on this yet. I'm gonna do it tomorrow, I think. But yesterday they updated the goth family. It's like the first of hopefully many townie updates. This has been long awaited. It's been a big issue in The Sims that they had whitewashed Bella Goth in The Sims 4 and they finally fixed the goth family and they look great, I think. Bella Goth has always been so pretty, but she is just beautiful. You know what? I cannot think of a more fitting Sims to test out this like fancy Parisian fashion. Although I will say I'm not seeing it. Oh, here we go. Why doesn't it have the new filter? I should have uninstalled the other packs. <laughs> okay, so it looks like we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10 different tops from this kit. We have this like really cute fuzzy sweater. This is so fun. I know this whole kit is like very trendy fashion right now, but I actually love this. I would probably wear this in real life. We also have this adorable top. Is that supposed to be kind of mesh because that looks so cool. Oh, that swatch especially is so good. Okay, no, I love this top. We also have this one, again, very trendy. Comes in some really cute different swatches. I like that red and black one a lot. We have this more like graphic tee. You know what? This is a great addition as well because we don't really have anything like this. Like the t-shirts in this game are kind of a different cut than is more commonly worn now. This is like the same cut as the shirt that I'm wearing today. <laughs> like this is the same vibes, just different pattern. This is like way more modern. I wish we had a plain swatch of this. I'd love to have this shirt in like solid white and solid black. It would be so useful. You could pair it with everything. Oh, okay. I like this a lot. Like a lot, a lot. That's a really cute pattern. And all the- oh, the little polka dot one. Oh my god, that's so fun. Wait, with the ombre, that's so pretty. I like this kit more than I thought I would, I think. I've only seen a couple things, but so far I'm really impressed. I love how boxy this coat is too. And it's got such fun swatches. And this one, the cardigan with a little tiny crop top underneath. That's so cool. I'd wear that green one. I wouldn't wear the crop top because I'm too self-conscious, but <laughs> I'd wear the green cardigan. I've been waiting for this one too from the pictures. This looks better than I thought it would. I'm always worried about like this kind of texture in The Sims 4 and like if it's gonna look off. Genuinely, I'm kind of obsessed with this. It's just fun. We don't have a lot like this and the kids have been adding more stuff like this. It's cool. No, okay. I think this might be my favorite shirt from this whole kit. Oh, I don't like this swatch on that. I feel like it looks off. 
but I like the idea of this shirt and I feel like we're really lacking this kind of shirt. So that is a fun addition. And then we also had this coat too, which is so nice. They're such a good mix of like casual and also kind of formal, but like trendy formal. And they have such nice swatches too. Like this green color is so good. Okay, that's all of the tops. It looks like we also have this pair of pants, which again, very trendy. I think this will pair very well with that t-shirt. We also have these little shorts. Oh, those are nice. Oh, and they're simple too. So it's easy to match to things. We have these like longer lined shorts. These remind me of Steph o Sims. <laughs> Steph is so trendy. I feel like everything in this pack reminds me of Steph o Sims. We also have this little like sequiny skirt, which honestly I'm kind of obsessed with. I didn't think I would like that, but that looks in my opinion way better than the base game one. Oh, these are, oh, hang on. These are way better pants. Wait, that with this shirt, that is good. Okay, it looks like we also have this pair of sneakers. Oh, I really like these. I think these are really good swatches too. Like the purple one. We've been getting a lot more better shoes recently, I think, in the more recent packs. And there is one full body outfit. We have this really fancy dress. Wait. Oh, the back of that looks great. I am so glad it has texture. So often those strings would just be like painted on. You see how they have like a little bit of like thickness to them? That is way better than I was expecting. That is so nice. I love that swatch too. It has some really interesting- Oh, the white one? <gasps> that as a wedding dress? This light blue one too is like a bridesmaid dress maybe? I know we don't even have bridesmaids really in this game, but <laughs> I'm just thinking and it would be fun. That, that is a bit too bright for me. Miss Bella Goth, even you, I don't think can pull that off. I don't think I like that one. But we have like a proper white and ivory and a black swatch too. Oh, okay. We also have a pair of earrings. Oh, very pretty pearl earrings. A new pair of sunglasses that I don't know if I like or not. I can't tell. I like the vibes though. And also we have this necklace. I like that necklace. That's really interesting. It's also very different from a lot of the stuff that we have. It's kind of a cool sort of style. Okay. <gasps> Wait a minute. This is one of the styled looks. That's interesting. <gasps> oh, I really like that. I actually really like that. What a cool combo. This is the only styled look for men. I won't lie, it is kind of odd on Mortimer Goth. <laughs> Especially going from like the new suit he wears to then this. Very different vibes, but it's cute. I'll say that much. I like this color scheme. So it looks like they also have the same pair of glasses. Tops, we've got this new jacket, which is kind of cool. We have this one that, oh, that's pretty nice actually. A light denim jacket with just a white t-shirt underneath or the light yellow t-shirt. I really like this. I'm gonna use this one a lot. We also have that same like partially tucked shirt and we also have that same like collared shirt with the mesh and the pretty flowers. Okay, yet again, I think that masculine frame sims have received very little. <laughs> they only have four tops. They do have a bunch more pants though, it seems. So that's nice, I guess. We've got some pretty colors. We've got some shorts, longer shorts. Oh, I like that it has a belt. Interesting how not all of the swatches have the belt. I'm curious about that. We have these pants. We have these pants pants and we have these pants. I do like these jeans though. I think these are pretty nice. And then of course we have the same sneakers. Full body, I don't think they have anything. Yeah. And I sincerely doubt that kids got anything from this kit. Yeah. No, they didn't. Well, it's cute. It's good stuff. My thoughts on the cast kits are always that I like them enough, but I probably wouldn't buy them. Like if I were just a regular simmer and not like a Sims YouTuber, I probably wouldn't get this kit. I just don't really see a point to. It's cute. I, I do like the items a lot. I just, I don't really care about cast that much and it's hard to justify five dollars on like a few clothing items that I kind of like. I can make do with the stuff that is from other packs. Like I'll just take an expansion pack over this and you might love it and feel differently. I just, I feel like, oh that's cute, <laughs> but not cute enough to purchase. That's kind of my final thoughts. As far as build mode stuff goes though, that is what I want to see. The little campers kit is what I want to see. Bulldoze everything so I can pull it up. I'm so excited. I've been waiting for this moment. Okay, so it looks like we've got what? One, two, three, 25 items in this kit. Number one, we have this underneath the stars fold up bed. Oh, cute. Bring your backyard camp out to the next level with this semi-comfy fold-up bed with folding legs that keep you off the cold, hard ground. So it's just like a cot, but... Oh, it's got such fun swatches. Wait, I'm sad about this. I wish that it was like a regular bed and not just a cot. Because we don't have a lot of kids' beds. It's been a long time since we got like some really cutesy kids' swatches on beds. I want to use this in like regular houses, <laughs> but I don't know. I mean, I used to have a bed like this. I used to sleep on a trundle, just like used as a regular bed for most of my life. So I think it's fun. Fine, but I wish that it had like a more proper like headboard and stuff because that would be nicer to use for like your average
large everyday house. It is cute though. I love the space swatch. We have this little makeshift extra seating and it's supposed to be like a little stool with a blanket draped over top, which is so cute. What fun clutter is that gonna make for? We also have the froggy chair. Anybody? Animal Crossing? Anybody? That's the pack icon as well. <laughs> I'm obsessed. I love it. You can see the little froggy in the icon, but it's like a little fold-out camper chair. Oh, the pig one! Not Peppa. Oh, she is infecting every aspect of my life. This is fun to have. I wish we had more folding chairs like this. We've got a bunch from Outdoor Retreat, but it's been a long time since we got this kind of thing, so I will always accept more. We have this needs paint backyard chair and the little needs paint dining table. That's a fun one. I've been wanting more single tile like wooden tables and I like the swatches on that. That's gonna be really cute to use. It has some really good color options. Oh fun! And they're cheap too. 45 simoleons. Oh never mind. Table is 500 but the chairs are cheap. The chairs are cheap. We have this little outdoor folding dining table. Oh! Oh. It's not a dining table. It doesn't say dining table. I don't know where I got that from. I got excited. It's not a dining table. It is a useful folding table though. We also have this makeshift shelf like wagon thing. Comes in some kind of cute swatches. Needs paint game table? <gasps> oh, so you can play cards on it. Oh, I'm so glad they did that. I've been wanting more of these for so long and so many of them don't really have like, I don't know, the best vibes. They're like kind of too fancy. This is an excellent game table. That will be perfect. I'm gonna use that all the time. We also have this backyard fire pit, which I've been waiting to get more of. We only have them from Outdoor Retreat, and it's got some really cute little swatches. It comes in great colors and has like the fun metal cutouts on there, and I assume you can like, yeah, you can slot any chair to it. We will test that out in a second, I think. I've been curious about this. Oh, it's an activity table! Oh my god. Oh, I saw this in the pictures, like from the screenshots, but it was just from this angle, so I couldn't tell what it was. It's one of the little drawing tables so your kids can draw on it, and it's made to look like a car. Oh, and they've got like a little school bus one. Stop. No, I could actually cry over this. You don't understand. I have been wanting more kids stuff for so long. <laughs> That is amazing. Okay, we also have the backyard TV projector, which I have been so excited about. This is a TV screen. It's fun seven, power consumption 10, reliability eight. So it's a pretty good TV screen as well. And it has like all these little cutesy swatches. It's supposed to be like a bed sheet propped up so you can watch TV on it. All of this is very much Toy Story to me. And I love that. We also have this little guy. Oh, is he supposed to be a gnome? Oh, it's a little marshmallow gnome. I won't lie, we did have talks about this when we first saw it. Me and my friends were like, now is that a toilet paper holder? It's not. It is unfortunately only a marshmallow. However, if they had done both, that would be amusing to me. Okay, this is the ultimate fantasy blanket fort. I've been curious about this and like the gameplay involved in it. I don't think there is gameplay. I think it's just decorative and you could like you know, put your kids stuff in there and have them play in there, which is totally fine. I didn't really expect gameplay from it, but there are a couple different really cute little swatches on here and all of the bed sheets change. And do you know what I love? The bed sheets are like the same swatches as some of the actual beds. So it, it kind of like implies that they're using real bed sheets for it. Oh, and it's covered in lights and little flags and stuff and the little raccoon on top. I would do anything for more kids stuff in this game. I would like die for more kids stuff in this game. Even like the little water and the flashlight there's so many little details. We also have this little pop-up book. Oh, cute! It's got a couple different swatches. We do have a couple pillows. Oh, that's actually really nice. We don't have anything like that right now. And they match the bed swatches, so you can put them on the floor for them. Oh my god. And we have this s'mores kit. Again, with the clutter. That is perfect. I'm gonna use this all the time. I put fire pits in my backyards all the time. I will use this so much. We do have a rug. Outdoor lawn blanket, they call it. Oh, it's supposed to be, oh my god, it looks like an outdoor lawn blanket. Ooh, look at that pink ombre. And the blue, that's kind of fun. I actually love those swatches. That's so cute. Imagine you've got that laid out, you've got the blanket there, we can have like some little chairs and maybe like the pillow, and then we can watch movies by the fire pit. This is what I mean when I say it doesn't actually have new gameplay, like it's just a TV and a fire pit, but this feels like a new kind kind of gameplay that I hadn't really considered before. Like I never did movie nights outside really. Okay, we have this little lamp that's supposed to be like a little rocket ship lantern. Oh, ew, ew, texture on that is weird. That's, that looks not good. 
Okay, yep, yeah, that's disappointing. <laughs> Something about the handle looks off, right? We also have- Oh, wait a minute, that looks glitched, but nobody tell anyone. It's only one simoleon. That can't be right, but nobody tell anyone. I want it to stay cheap, <laughs> because then we can use it in our builds. This is prime starter home material. A one simoleon stuffed animal, thank you very much. Nobody report this to them, okay? I don't want it fixed. I want this thing cheap. It stays one simoleon. Do we understand this is a secret? This is private between us. I need this to be cheap so that I can keep using it in starter homes. <laughs> it's gonna work like Blurfy, obviously, but it's a Bigfoot one. Oh my god, that's way smaller than I was expecting. That's so cute. Are you kidding? I thought it was gonna be like, you know, big. It's not big, it's tiny. The way that thing costs more than, <laughs> than the Bigfoot stuffy. Nobody tell anybody. Shh, secret. That says 100 simoleons, not one. It says 100, it's, it's appropriately priced. Okay, we also have this little up to the stars dollhouse. <gasps> oh, I was wondering what this was from the pictures because it was kind of a weird angle. I couldn't really tell, but it's a dollhouse. And it looks like they made it themselves. Like they built it using like a stool and some sheets and stuff like that. This is my favorite thing. I absolutely love the concept for this pack. Like the way the kids are just playing make-believe and making stuff. Me and my friends used to make forts out of of umbrellas <laughs> and not out of blankets. It was like umbrellas and towels in the front yard. So this is really speaking to me right now. Okay, we also have this little Kitty Tunes radio, which I am obsessed with. I, I love this. I will use this all the time. We have this little jar full of fireflies. Oh, oh, cause you could line that up in the backyard. It's like a jar with fairy lights in it. Is that a, a ceiling item? Oh, oh, this is big. Okay, couple things. Number one, you can use these little things cause it slots perfectly to the string line. I think that is the original potential intended purpose, but you can also like size this up. We can raise, we can raise it and lower it. Oh, oh, there is a lot of room for a lot of things with this. We have needed an item like this for so long. This is the best item in the pack. Hands down, this item, best part of the pack. $5 worth it just for that. But we also have a swing set, which is also very cute. This is like a fancy swing set too. Look at this. We don't have anything like this yet. Oh, and some of them have the blanket underneath and not all of them do. Wait, that looks so good. I'm like in awe of that. Okay, I just wanted to test out a couple of these things really quickly just so I could kind of see how they work. Oh my god, the speakers and how it's like a little bit fuzzy because it's like projected onto the sheet. And then this part is the projector. I was wondering about that. I thought it was like a sound bar or something when I first saw it, but that makes more sense. Okay, I want to go light the fire pit. Come here. Oh, and then look, you can roast marshmallows and stuff on it. Okay, now stop that. I want to use, I want to use the swing. Oh my god. This is like hands down absolutely with out a doubt, my favorite kit for The Sims 4 to date. I like the other ones. I love the like the kitchen kit and stuff, but this one, I just see myself using all of these things so much more often. Especially, I think the fire pit, this little card table that you can change games on, this little like activity table, I'm gonna use that all the time. The movie screen and also this swing set. I think I'm gonna use those items a lot. Oh my god, and also the lights. Don't even get me started on the lights. We will use those lights so often. Oh, you know what? And maybe these two things, the clutter, the s'mores. One thing that I was a little bit worried about going into this kit was that we obviously already have a couple of these things from different packs. Like so far, the campfires have been an exclusive outdoor retreat item. And also we have movie screens from movie hangout. So I was kind of like, what, what are these items going to be? Like what gameplay carries with them? So just to confirm the movie screen, like the projector screen is just a TV. It doesn't like come with additional gameplay or anything. It, it's just a TV. It works like any TV in the game. I say that because if you have movie hangout, out, you can watch movies on TVs and you can also like talk about movies and stuff. This pack doesn't come with like movies or the ability to discuss the movies and all of that. That's exclusive to Movie Hangout. But obviously if you have the pack, you can watch it on the TV. It's just, it's just a TV. There's no like special gameplay. It's just a TV. And also the campfire. We haven't gotten a new campfire since Outdoor Retreat. We got a couple like big bonfire things, but we don't have any like regular campfires. And if you have Outdoor Retreat, you'll be able to like roast everything on it. There's a bunch of other additional campfire gameplay. But if you have this kit and only this kit, you can just roast marshmallows. And I feel like that kind of makes sense too. I don't know. I don't think that roasting marshmallows is like the big selling point of Outdoor Retreat. So I'm not like mad about that being carried forward to a different pack. It feels like a very normal thing to do. I certainly did not buy Outdoor Retreat just to roast stuff on the campfire. So like whatever. That doesn't feel like a very big gameplay feature to me. And it makes sense to give the chance to roast marshmallows in this kit because like so much of the kit is about roasting marshmallows and it's such a small thing. But I did like go in and check and look into that because I figured a lot of us 
supposed to be kind of concerned about that because I certainly was. It's always weird to have like old features carry forward into new packs, especially when it's a thing like this where it's a build kit, but it kind of has some gameplay stuff in it. Like it's kind of a weird in between, but really it's just a build kit that happens to have some items that we don't usually get in build kits. And either way, it is absolutely my favorite kit so far. Oh, I just love this kit. This is a really, really good kit. I am really happy with this kit. Hands down, like I said, my favorite kit so far. I, I really, really like this one. I'm curious to hear your thoughts on it. I think that it really checks out as far as like size of the kit goes. That's very similar in the amount of items to the other kits, but I just feel like I personally will use these things a lot more often. I just want more kids stuff in this game so bad. I will so gladly accept any new kids content. Like I will eat it up. So this is this is just perfect for me. And I think this ties in really well to my regular gameplay. I don't know, it's it's just cute. And also the, the cast kit, I like all of these things. I think every cast item is cute. I don't dislike any of these items. I just probably wouldn't buy this one. So when we talk about these two kits, I would like wholeheartedly recommend absolutely yes, hands down, I, I would buy this kit. I did buy this kit and I would buy it again, but maybe not so much on the cast one. And not because it's bad, I just, I personally wouldn't buy any of the cast kits. I mean, I say the same thing in every single one of these videos, but <laughs> I really like this one. I really, really do like this one. Also, before I go, I wanted to point out one last thing because they posted a kind of suspicious picture on Twitter. They have been teasing werewolves a lot recently. Like there's full moons everywhere. There's werewolf footage playing on TVs and promo pictures they're posting. But in this picture, do you see these eyes in the background? Look at these suspicious eyes staring at me from behind the bushes. They are getting blatant with these hints. This one is like so obvious. I actually kind of love it though. It's funny. I feel like I, I didn't see this in the original pictures that I saw from this screenshot. I think that's like a new addition to day when they posted it again. Did they even post this one or did it leak? I feel like I've seen this screenshot before, but I don't remember if it was official or not. Either way, I haven't seen those eyes until today and they're scaring me. Anyway, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Stay tuned tomorrow for a video on yesterday's update because I want to talk about the goth family and stuff a little bit more. And oh my god, also Tuesday's update. I made a video on the pronoun update earlier this week. There's been so much Sims news this week. They're just dropping good stuff constantly. So I'll link that pronoun video down below. I do have one giveaway code for each of these kits, but I also have a bunch of other kit giveaway codes from older kits and I'm raising money for charity on my stream tonight We're raising money for st. Jude again We have been all month and we're gonna play the 100 baby challenge and also probably use this kit a little bit So if you want to pop in my twitch is linked down below and so is that charity donation page if you got a dollar to spare And I think with that being said, I'm gonna catch you all tomorrow. Bye everybody. Oh my god, I'm so excited. You don't understand. This kit has like actually made my week. I'm so happy about this. I cannot get over how cute those items were